Hi guys, thanks for joining me. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use an acrylic swipe to create the effect of a stained glass window. I got this idea doing last week's video and funnily enough, one of my viewers, Jim, commented with a similar thought. I'm using my typical swiping paint mixture and ratios today. You can find all those details along with all my supplies listed in the description box, but I will also mention them as I go along. These base colors that I'm busy pouring on are all mixed four parts paint to eight parts flow troll to one part water plus one drop of silicon. I'm just tilting the canvas a bit to spread the paint around to cover some of the open spaces. To swipe, I'm using ivory black paint, which is mixed four parts paint to eight parts flow troll to three parts water. I'm using a piece of plastic that I cut out from the canvas packaging to swipe. I'm going to give the painting some time to dry and in the meantime I'm going to create the window design. I was busy experimenting with some rough designs on a piece of paper and quickly realized that I was going to need some straight lines and a bit of a grid <laughs> to help me draw properly. So on a piece of paper that I cut out to be the same size as the canvas I've drawn seven equally spaced vertical lines and some horizontal ones. I found it easiest to start with drawing the outside arch first and then deciding where I want the lowest arch to come up to. Then drawing those arches in. and then finally extending the bottom arches up to reach the top arch. Hopefully by following along that all makes sense. To help me with where to place my design within the bottom arch, I'm drawing a circle inside the arch. And then a smaller second circle. Now I'm basically picturing myself drawing three petals of an imaginary flower within each arch and finally colouring in the background. With the design cut out and attached to the canvas with painter's tape, I'm just outlining the pattern onto the canvas. Now I'm using some ivory black paint to finish the painting off.
thanks as always for joining me. If you'd like to see more tutorials like this, please don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell. And I look forward to seeing you again next time.